Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Aries the Emperor here. Back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Just take in mind, all right, this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just simply take what does, leave what does not, all right? Do not force the reading. I wanted to come on here and do a quick energy check for you guys. Um, and just like you read the title, um, that's exactly the feeling that I'm getting. Literally, I just shuffled the cards and the five of swords popped out. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is already an, an energy of animosity, opposition. And, and you may not even see this coming here or may not even be aware. Um, but just know that you got something even bigger watching over you at this time here. Um, and they all going to pay. You know, especially when they come up against something great, something malleable, something neat, um, something carved and created unique um, and, and, and by the divine here. Handcrafted is what you are. OK, let's jump into it. Thank you, guys, uh, to everyone who likes and subscribes to the channel. Thank you for your donations um, to those of you who book readings. Um, and shop the, the candle shop. I do have uh, readings to get out to you guys. Um, I saw my email, so I do need to get back to um, you all. So just stay tuned here. I'll be reaching out after this reading to those of you who ha I have not sent readings out to, um, as well as candles. Um, I've, I've sent out candles as well. And um, celebrating going um, global uh, to all of my international subscribers if you'd like to place an order if you're having an issue on the website placing your order um, then send your order to me email it to me um, and i'll be able to manually go in and create um, a ticket for you all right so um, that we can get your candles and your uh, aries the emperor products out to you as well here okay um, the website for you all is um I'm running a sale at this time here. So I'll leave all my info in the description box down below. Okay. All services, all products um, are 15% off. Okay. Look at this. It won't go away. Like, let's jump on. Let's, let's jump into it. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, guides. What messages do you have? All right, we got the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. Did I not say that um, something is destined, you know, something is written in stone. And just like the wheel goes around and you are on top of it, one day the wheel can go around um, again and you're on the bottom of it the next day, you know. So that's a reason why it's important, especially in life when you go through um, different experiences to stay humble and to stay grounded. Okay. That's the main reason so that you don't lose yourself. Okay. Into success, um, or popularity or fame, you know, or overindulgence. Um, something is, is bigger than you, you know, just the energy that you bring to the table. Um, so those that come up against you, you know, are, are coming up against something that they, um, unfortunately are not educated on before they step foot. Um, and then they realize, you know, after it's the point of return they're, they're, that they're stuck in this energy here, in these feelings here. Um, and not to just say that you're superior to anybody, but, um, one of God's handcrafted creatures that you are, you know, is somebody that you don't play with, you know, spirit put their hands on you. God put their hands on you. Um, and that's as far as it needs to go here, you know, and especially, um, you know, you want a, an earth angel here of some sort here. Uh, and that's why this wheel of fortune energy is out here is Jupiter energy because you able to go there physically, you able to go there mentally, you able to go there. Um, and, and this is something I feel like your spirit guides don't play about you here. Okay. The type of energy that you, um, are able to put out into the world, you know, unfortunately, um, this is an energy of, of somebody wanting to keep you stuck or did keep you stuck, you know? Um, but like I mentioned here, 
what goes around comes around here. And now this is an energy where now someone else is stuck in their emotions or they stuck in their ways. Um, and they stuck in, in a cycle of what they tried to set up for you. Um, they now having to go around that vision, that vicious cycle here while you have freed yourself from the will, um, taken the will, used it as your bitch, made it, molded, and, and are continuing to excel, you know, as life's student, life's star student here. And like I mentioned, you know, one day you on the top of that wheel and the next day you on the bottom of it stuck here. All right, so this is it. Like I mentioned here, they gonna pay one way or another. The devil always come back to collect, baby. It just may not be your day. It just may not be they day, but just remember, every dog gets his day, as the saying says here, okay? Now somebody drinking their own poison. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that. You know, you fix up two drinks and you put poison in mine and, and I catch wind of it, switch the drink and you can drink your own shit. That's where destiny steps in for you collective. That's how clever you are. That's how far ahead you are. It's like you read incarnated here. This time to get it right. Get it so fucking right that it scares those around you. Oh my God. <laughs> so many cars just flew out and I'm finna take all of them, y'all. Look at this. The moon is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. When you play in the kitchen, when you play in dark magic, when you play under the moon, when you play on people's tops, um, when you wish evil on people, when you wish on people's downfall, um, you end up putting yourself in that emotion. You put yourself in that energy. And that is what somebody out here is doing to themselves here now, you know, what they say, you got to pay what you weigh and somebody is paying heavily. All right. Five of swords. Was this not at the bottom of the deck at the beginning of the reading? Well, here it is out here in the flesh, in your face or better yet behind your back. Don't even have the nerve to come fight you. Like what Chris Tucker said, fight me, put the gun down, fight me like a man. You know what I'm saying? Put the sword down, fight me like a man. It's what this energy is given with you, but somebody ain't ready. Because this is how heavily armed you are. And this ain't no cheap victory that you coming after. This some shit that you here to sit on. Some shit that you here to marinate in. Some shit that you here to bask in. To lift your head high. And this scepter even higher. To let a motherfucker know. How dare you come up and try and play against somebody like me. Sophisticated baby. Aristocrat. At its finest upper echelon type energy, the empress. This is the female counterpart to the emperor. Which is you. And you ain't even got to be out here to fight this battle. Because what, like I said here, that wheel is spinning. And it's spinning for a reason. What else we got? We got the three of wands, Sagittarius energy. You a visionary with yours. It don't matter who plotting on you. King of wands, you're inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Even if they try and take your voice, what you're already doing in the flesh, in the physical, it will never be forgotten. You know, imagine that. Somebody threw obstacles at you not knowing that you were overcomer of challenges, of obstacles. You get a rise out of this shit. You get a kick out of it. You're focused. You know, especially under pressure. You know, you privy to this. At the nine of wands, you know, they thought they took you out with that weak ass energy, them weak ass mind games, them weak ass obstacles. Try again, motherfucker. Because when it's your turn, when the tables turn on this energy here, we're going to see how far they can keep their head above water. 
because you done ran your cycle. Ten of Pentacles. You done went through the mud. You planted your seeds. And now you're ready to, to indulge in, in, in wealth, in life's wealth. Spiritual wealth, financial security, family. This is long term. Like I mentioned here, you are here for this. It's in you, never on you. And when it's in you, it's endless. Is you like a tap. You can turn that bitch on. You can turn it off when you get ready. Multi-faceted. When they play with you, they play with themselves. And that's a dangerous ass game if you give a fuck about yourself. But, but like the cards say, baby, they all gonna pay. One way or another, motherfucker. One bad decision after another. Two of swords. Libra energy. Can move through their enemies like the best of them. Call them out. Sniff them out. Even when they hiding behind the veil. Dark veil. Is what dispels out. But guess what? Just like the moon rises. It as well has to set. The sun got to come out and, and shed light on all of that shit. For everybody to see. So just dwell right now. You know, and what spirit is spelling out for you. Don't worry about a hater. Don't worry about an enemy. <laughs> is what this reading is saying to me. Let's get one more and I'm going to close the reading out. I feel like I've said enough. You know, your vibration is, is just on a frequency that yet has not been tapped into or is just of something that hasn't been recognized collectively yet as somebody able to be able to tap into something like this if you catch my drift. You know, people don't want something until they see it. It's like the law of attraction, right? It's the law, the power of manifestation that you possess here as well. You know, it's like attraction. You see something, you like it, you want it. Therefore, you, you start to create ways to manifest it for it to come to you or for you to have it. The judgment, Libra energy, the king of cups, cancer energy. It's like this new phase you're entering into. It's, it's one of, you know, not needing to look back. Empathetic. Yet stoic at the same time. You know, you may be the villain in somebody's story here. And that's fine. You know, you still possess the emotional balance. Emotional maturity. The tolerance of your enemies is what this is. Being at peace. You know, even, even though... Um, it, it may be evil eye being thrown at you or stones cast at you. It's just the, the mere fact of you being aware and being at peace. Laying your burdens down. Forgiving yourself. Cleaning your cloth. No, there is no animosity for you to carry. You just, you, you continue to leave that to the weak and the weary. 
is what spirit is saying in this message here. But they are going to pay. They already paying in more ways than one. Continue to use your foresight. Your opportunities will expand for you the more that you travel into that tunnel vision, that energy, that tapping out so you can tap into your destiny, this wheel of fortune up here, so you can sit back like a fat mat and attract. (laughs) I don't know how other way to say it in this instance here. I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button because you inching forward. Okay. One way or another. I'll catch you. I'll catch you guys later. Okay. Hit that like and subscribe button. Ciao.